What is going on guys? We're having a great day like always. We're doing something pretty insane today. If y'all can see right here, we're Aquarium Outfitters and we're gonna be buying a fish today. We catch these fish all the time. I'm still in the same clothes. Me and Bobby just got back from filming a video and he actually caught the fish I'm gonna be buying today. We might buy another one, I'm not too sure yet, but I know for sure I put a down payment on this fish yesterday. Tank's in my house right now, getting set up. We need one main thing to finish the tank off, but we're gonna be picking up this fish today, so let's go inside and check it out. All right y'all, so Bob's gonna help us out, so let's go ahead and go inside. He's little, he's, he's not the biggest. How old do you think this little fish is right here? Less than a year. Less than a year? Yeah. I'll show you that there's a big one over there that's... What do you think that one is? I know he said it takes about two years for them to get to this size and to transfer to that size over there. Yeah, or a spotted gar over there. That one is a spotted gar and this is a long nose? Mm -hmm. Check out this gar over here. He's a little bit bigger. He's a, he's a little bit bigger. They told me it has to be about 120 gallon tank. And I have a 20 gallon tank, so he's not an option for us. He's really cool. Isn't he cool? So he's from Florida? Yeah. One thing that's at the house right now that is somewhat working, but it's a very important thing you need to have is the heater. It, there's a shortage in it, I think, right now, so it's not getting up to temperature. For this gar, it has to think of being like, I think it's at 80 degrees, so that's what we have to pick up right now. We have the gar in the bag. Let's go find us a little heater. I use a bigger model, the 50 gallon, and I want it home. Okay. You said like every three years, they, they kind of take a dump on you. You just yeah. might as well just get a new one. If you find one that lasts more than three and a half years, it's a good heater. Yeah, it's a good heater. So right now we're about to check out, guys. I have my heater. I have the gar. So we'll see how much all that adds up to, and then we'll come back. And if we can find something in price, we might buy it. I'm not going to tell the name yet, but we might buy the little gar, a little friend, so let's let's go and check it out. Alright guys, a lot's happened in the last couple of days. Where we last left off in the video, I said that I was going to check out, see how much money it came out to, and if I had enough, I was going to go buy the gar, a little friend. For the heater and the gar, it came out to think $68, so I had $30, $40 left, so I went and bought this type of eel, I think it's called a fire tiger eel, I'm not really too sure, but the clip you're watching right now is what he looks like. Got home, I put the gar and the eel into the tank, and it, that's where we're at right now. It's been at least five days. The reason why I haven't filmed it, because after I put the heater in, it got up to temperature. Gar was thriving really good, he was making his little home around the tank, just getting used to things, but the eel started acting a little bit weird. When I first put him in, he went to this little rock right here. He was just kind of chilling like an eel, I th what I thought an eel does. And then every day, it looked like he was getting kind of worse and worse. He started kind of leaning on his side. His, his head was kind of cockeyed. It looked like he was dead, and if you moved him with the net, he would flip out and swim off, and then he started getting some type of rash on him where his skin was starting to... It, it was really bad. So I started freaking out. I thought I did something wrong. I didn't want it to affect the gar, and I, it's a little thing I, I really didn't want him to die I, he looked like he wasn't doing good so I called up the guy that was at the aquatic outfitters and he told me that that's just what they do what I was explaining to him I don't think he kind of understood like, what I was trying to say what I saw he wasn't doing good so he said test the water I bought a little kit so we can try to see what the levels were I think it's called um, ammonia that the something with the levels wasn't right in my tank it tested really, really dark green it's supposed to be a light green so Went and got that figured out, took half the water out, filled it back up, put the chemical in the water and let it sit for I think 24 hours and now my levels are doing great. Sad the eel died, that's, really, that's why I really haven't been filming too much, I, I didn't want you guys to see that. I was excited for the next day to get back out of here and show you guys my actual tank. Nothing's wrong with the gar, he's down here chilling right now, he'll come up and swim here in a second, he just kind of sits at the bottom and does his little thing and he'll get up and start swimming around. You guys can see right here I had the LED lights, I ordered one thing, it was going to be enough and it wasn't, the tank was still kind of dark, you only really see bright right here in the corners really didn't look too good so I had to order another one so now I have two remotes I just have to use them both to shut them off but the guards doing great the lights look good my filter is doing all right I can't see right now but the actual the heater shut off and I have my little thermometer right here the water temperature has to stay from at least 80 and 82 degrees that's what the guy recommended actually the warmer the water the faster the gar will grow and I actually want him to get pretty big kind of soon because I want him to start eating some bigger things and that's one thing too y'all you guys missed that when this was kind of happening I, I really didn't want to film too much and I thought about not filming it because I didn't know if he was going to eat them or not. I bought six little feeder fish and this dude just killed them all. Which is why one of the guards seems kind of cruel but just to see this thing eat was just awesome. I didn't think he was going to eat it because like I said when you buy a first tank guys you have to let it adapt. You have to get certain algae in here and just it takes time to grow a tank when you first get one. There he's swimming around right there. I didn't think he was going to eat the minnows but it I think he ate three super quick and then the other two or three were just kind of chilling around 
and the next day they were gone. I'm gonna get a feeding in here soon because I want you guys to see what this dude, how aggressive he can be. I want to get another fish for this tank. I think the gar, I want him to have a friend, but you have to realize the gar, he's super aggressive. You want to make sure you can get the right type of fish for him. The eel was a good fit, but I don't, I don't know if I want another eel. I really want to get another fish that when I do drop feeder fish in here, they both can kind of go at them. The eel was eating these little blood worms. You have to drop them in and then all of them just kind of spread out and it just made the tank super dirty. So I want to try to lean off from something that I have to drop in here. I want to just, I want to just put some fish in here and let them both attack them. I'm not too sure if I mentioned this earlier, but this is a 20 gallon tank. They recommended to put them in something a little bit longer. I had a 10 gallon, but they said try to aim for a 20 gallon and try to get it long because as these fish get older, their noses get longer and they're just long skinny fish. So you want them to have enough room to turn around in it. In the video you watched in the beginning, that gar was the thing that he said was two years old. So in two years, this gar right here will be that size and I have to move him to, I think, a 120 gallon tank. So as he does get bigger, I have to change him out. I want to tell you guys too, I, I had names for these fish. This is Hook right here and I had Sinker. That was the eel, but he died, so it's just hook right now. So this tank right here will hold a hook and a sinker eventually, but right now it's just a hook. I've been really interacting with this guy. I want to try to train him the way I want to. If I put my finger in there right now, he'll swim up to it. I can pet him. I've been really working with this fish as much as I can. He's a really awesome fish. I can't wait for him to get bigger so I can start feeding him some bigger types of fish. Once I get him more comfortable with the tank, I might go try to invest in another fish. Right now, he's enjoying the tank. He's getting really comfortable. At, he, like I said, he swims around a lot. He really doesn't sit on the bottom. I, it doesn't, in my eyes, there's no point to have a fish that just kind of hides behind a rock and when you have people come over and they're like, oh, he's back there, you can't really see him. This gar, he's actually very, very friendly. He, he swims around a lot, he's not really too lazy. He'll come up to the top a lot, make some little laps, go down to the bottom. As this little filter right here is pushing out water, he'll kind of sit in the current and just throws around and he just kind of fights it and swims with it. It's kind of funny to watch. You can tell he likes it. He keeps on going back to it. And then sometimes I'll catch him down here at the bottom just chilling like he is right now, but he's always out in the open, which is cool because I get to see him all the time. I can't wait to show you guys how he eats. I wanted to show you guys how he ate these fish, but like I said, I didn't think he was going to eat them, but he did. He, he destroyed all of them. He did miss the feeding, but I didn't think he was going to eat them. But now this gar knows when I drop that bag in here with some more minnows, he knows what's happening. He's starting to get that feeling that it is feeding time. So he should actually be more aggressive for the second feeding. So you guys will be able to see that. Right now I'm going to drop the GoPro in the water and show you guys what this fish actually looks like in the tank. It doesn't really have too many scales on him yet. He still just kind of has skin. Like I said, this fish is probably a couple months old. But he's really cool. This fish has super big eyes. He has this dark lateral line going down his side. He's super friendly. I love this little gar right here. Here's a close up of the tank, guys. The gar is hiding behind that rock. I kind of spooked him with the GoPro. Sorry, Hook. That's his favorite spot back there. Here's my two LED lights. I have the filter and then I have the heater. Can't see it right now, but right there, a little light will kick on and when that's off, that means that the temperature is sitting okay. And then once that little yellow light turns on, that means that it's working. The heater kicked back on. There's my thermometers to tell me the temperature. Inside this rock right here, there's a little tube that's coming up. That's what's making these little bubbles right here and I have it running to this little air pump. Just to give him some more oxygen if he needs it. But that's my tank, how I have it set up. Yeah, hook came back out. Like I said, he's really friendly, guys. I spooked him with the GoPro, but he's back out now. Set up for this tank in this fish wasn't really too expensive like I said just make sure you have a great heater if the heater cuts off and is not working and this temperature of the water drops the fish can die and you, you don't want that the thermometer right here was only three dollars just sticks on the tank so now I can maintain if my heater ever did stop working I can tell by looking at my temperature so I have time to try to save my fish before he dies it was very simple to get this thing hooked up thank you aquarium outfitters for helping me get this tank right they let me film in the store too so i appreciate that guys if y'all watching this video and you have a gar at your house and you have another fish with them guys throw one in the comments right now give me some recommendations what i can put in this tank with this fish like i said i want to be another fish that's aggressive that they can both kind of eat the minnows but not fight over each other and maybe eat each other i really don't know too much about smaller fish how they can thrive together if y'all have any ideas just let me know in the comments down below the tank in this fish is going to be in my channel a lot more i get to interact with a fish that i catch all the time i love catching gar and I get to raise one. But we're going to wrap it up right here, guys. If y'all don't watch any of these videos, just click on and leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Till next time, guys. Let me see you.